Hello and welcome back to my hardcore extreme chunk locked Iron Man. We have finished our first chunk and we've unlocked and rolled up second chunk which is Port Sarim. So here we go, look at the magic shop. We have death runes available to us. Take our runes. Um, the requirement, magic requirement isn't actually in this chunk. Um, because for some reason the settings aren't right on the, uh, the chunk picker. Um, but we may get there eventually. Uh, let's check out the necklace and jewelry shop. Um, again, this is overstocked in this world, but normally there's nothing in stock. So this is purely for gaining money if I manage to make jewelry. Um, Adamant Battle Axe, here we go. This is going to be one of the major requirements for this chunk. Um, so I need 30 attack for that, which I already have, which is lucky. I just need to get the money. And we have some thieves, which is the highest combat in this chunk. Um, and some men and women. I'm sure I can gain some money pickpocketing them. We have Geralt's fishy business. Uh, lots of feathers. Lots of sardines, which might prove very useful to us for this. Um, it's a very similar cooking grind. Let's have a look what the food shop has available to us. Some goblins and gobbling up all the food. A lot of potato. A lot of tomatoes and cheese. Some flour. Um, which means I can make pizzas which will be useful. Um, it also means I can make um, potatoes and cheese. Let's see what dock ports are open. So we have the void outpost available um, if I unlock that chunk. So we have seagulls which actually have 10 HP. Um, it's a lot more HP than chickens. So we have a bank deposit box. Now I have to be careful what I put in here because I have no access to the actual bank. Um, which is going to prove very interesting I think in the future. Um, essentially we're playing a, an ultimate Iron Man at the moment. Here we have uh, Veos which will take us to Zaya I believe. Um, I wasn't actually sure. I almost clicked on this. Uh, I, I, I wasn't sure we had do a quest beforehand but um, after some googling it turns out we don't have to do the quest. Um, there's Red Bed Frank that is going to be um, the only quest requirement in this junk. We've got a spirit tree patch which isn't a requirement for this junk um, because I think it's locked behind uh, a fairy tale or grand tree. I don't remember which quest it is. So yes, that's pretty much everything in this chunk. Um, so we've got a cooking grind ahead of us, which is level 58 for the pit of bread because the um, the range has become available. So we're going to pick pocket some men and get some money. So we're going to need a lot of money for these sardines unless we want to go back to killing chickens, um, which I want to try and avoid as much as possible, to be honest with you. Here we go, it's the first level, two thieving, three thieving, four thieving, five thieving, you know, six thieving, seven thieving, eight thieving. So now we've got uh, a little bit of money, just going to test out um, sardines, so they're only ten each. Uh, which is actually cheaper than I thought they would be, to be honest. Um, which means it's not going to be too bad of a grind compared to the chickens that we had earlier. 
Um, plus it means we can gain some thieving XP while we're at it. A bit of issue clicking on range. Let's see how much we get. So 40 XP per per fish, which is 10 more XP than chickens. And they're easier to obtain. So I think for the benefit of thieving XP and fish cooking XP, we're going to do the sardine route, I think. And here is 9 thieving. 10 thieving. We're going to have an attempt at killing a thief. Um, uh, little did I know at the time, they actually have the exact same drop table as the men and women um, surrounded by them, um, which is useful and not useful at the same time. Uh, I, I guess they're a bit more AFK because they, they have more HP, uh, but obviously we get quicker kills of the men and women, which is more beneficial, I guess. So there we go, managed to kill him, and we get a bronze metal, which is the actual upgrade, if we're going to be using melee. Um, the bronze med era begins. There's 37 combat, uh, 11 thieving, 12 thieving. So we're testing out the cheese and tomato pizza theory here. Um, they're only 4 GP each, which is really cheap, considering how long it takes to make cheese. Um, and I think the pot of flour was, I think, 10 GP each. Um, so, this is, this is one of the best um, food items in this chunk. And I'm just testing out how long it takes to cook and get the ingredients and stuff. Um, and, and how much XP it's going to give. Um, because it may be on its best uh, cooking training method. 14 thieving, 15 thieving, 16 thieving, 30 defense. There's a beginner clue scroll. Uh, can't do that one. 31 hit points, 31 strength. 19 farming. I've uh, got a Lenderhosen top. 2 magic. 32 strength. And 39 combat. Got a mystery box from the quiz. And managed to get a hard clue scroll. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll be uh, completing that one anytime soon. So, goodbye. 49 cooking, 33 strength, 31 prayer, ultimate strength prayer, another beginner clue scroll, a we cannot do, uh, just got a mime and got the climb rope remote, 40 combat, 34 strength, and 275 total, 20 farming, and average sweet corn. 50 cooking, 35 scrimp, uh, 32 bread, another beginner clue, a we cannot do, another beginner clue, what we cannot do, very close, 21 farming, Crandorian hops, 36 scrimp, 33 hit points, 41 combat, and just a prison event with a prison P, and we've got some coins, which is always handy. And then I'm gonna blow it all on runes, I think. Do a bit of magic training. Uh, as I said before, it's not actually needed for this chunk, but the more I do now, uh, the less I have to do later on. So why not? Three magic. 
that's four magic, five magic, six magic, and so training thieving, I missed out quite a lot here. Um, but there's level 29 and 30. There's some more cooking. A bit of money I've made. Uh, using sardines as food actually while I'm pickpocketing. Trying to work up to 40 thieving. Because uh, there's some guards at the top of this chunk um, that I can reach. Um, and it potentially offers a lot more money. There's 31 thieving. There's 51 cooking. And baked potatoes with egg and tomato. That's 32 thieving. Um, sandwich lady, thank you very much. 33 thieving. There's a wool thieving. 35 thieving. 52 cooking, not long to go now, 37 shrimp, 33 bread, 53 cooking, and there's another beginner clue I cannot do, 38 strength, 34 hit points, and 300 total level of 42 combat. 36 thieving, 37 thieving, got a pinball vent, got five sapphires, um, nothing I can do. Uh, 38 thieving there, got Captain Carve, some gold bars, unfortunately I can't make that, it's no smelter. 39 thieving and guys I got the rocky pet at level 39 thieving 33,000 XP well that is a nice surprise and a good companion for this long grind um, so yeah welcome to rocky age 40 thieving. We can now go and pickpocket city guards, um, which we can find in Falador, south of Falador. And they do sneak into our chunk. Here we go, just giving it a try. Um, it is proving quite difficult because they do move into the um, grayed out chunk. Uh, back to cooking, 54. 55 now my anchovy pizzas so I managed to get my main account um, to do some splashing on the guard I know it's multi-area but um, it allows me to pickpocket without him moving into the grey area uh, I don't consider this cheating and to be honest uh, it's my rules so there we go, 41 thieving. This is proving, uh, oh, we've got a random event. Got some coins from that, I think. It's always nice. There's 42 thieving, 43 thieving. It's 56 cooking, 57 cooking. Forty-four thieving. Forty-five 
45 even and 58 cooking there we go guys so we've managed to complete all of the chunk tasks um, first we need to go and cook the pita bread um, but we now have all the level requirements ready for me to complete the chunk so we brought the adamant parallax earlier on um, which actually I don't think I recorded but yeah we have uh, the adamant parallax um, took a lot of thieving from men to afford that but we've got that and now I'm gonna go buy um, some flour and make the pita bread the goblins are still here I'm surprised there's any food left So I think for my next chunk, I would actually like the one south of this, or Falador. Um, just because it provides a lot more content, a lot more combat content, which would be nice to see. Um, saves the skilling, gives skilling a chance to calm down a little bit. Uh, so one thing I didn't mention before is I've decided, because of the chunk, chunks around me, farming, could become a killer for this account um, if I get Drainer's 99 requirement. So farming is actually going to be a passive skill for me. I'm going to basically set myself a goal at each chunk um, on, on what level to get or what to grow or seed to use. Uh, that I have to make sure I make progress in it uh, because depending on the next chunk it could be a very high requirement. And I don't want the account to come to a complete stop. Um, so there we go. I cooked my pit of dough, or well, made my pit of dough. Let's go cook it into some pit of bread. I don't, I don't know actually how to make a kebab, but maybe we should try that. So yeah, this this one this chunk actually took me less time than the first chunk. I think with the higher combat levels and um, the ability to feed and cook food. Uh, made it a lot more easier. Yeah, but it's very enjoyable. Here we go. Let's cook this one. A 40 XP after all of that. There we go. Got the pit of bread. So let's go and complete the um, quest step that we've got. Uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to complete it. Might be too hard. Um, I think it's pirate treasure. Yeah, go and speak to Redbeard Frank, Port Sarim. And I think that is the only step we can do, unfortunately. But depending on the next chunks, we might be able to do a bit more questing. Start the quest. Here we go. Oh, random event. A free strength potion because uh, I have not yet received any clean herbs. So that's that. So there we go guys, that is the end of the chunk, I guess it's time now to roll a new one. Here we go, here's my chunk picker map, I will link it in the description down below if anyone wants to keep an eye on me. Here we go, let's roll, and we've got the chunk south of Port Sarim and Drainer. I think it's uh, it's an obvious choice out of these two. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for the one south of Port Sarim. So the hardest grind, I guess, there is the curved bone, which is gonna take a long time. Um, obviously, Drainer Chunk has the 99 farming requirement. 
Uh, there is also a skilling grind for the port rim, south port rim chunk, which is uh, 68 cooking or 65 cooking for pineapple pizzas. But there's going to be a lot of combat involved. Um, they do also drop blood runes, uh, so that's going to be a requirement. Here we go. So thank you very much for joining me on this episode two adventure. We've got 315 total level. Uh, base 30 stats for melee combat. Um, and just scroll through all of the um, songs that we've unlocked. Just so you can see that I haven't cheated. Um, not that I've done anything exuberant in this chunk to make you think that I would have cheated. But there we go, there's all the songs. So yeah, there we go guys, thank you very much for joining me, and I will see you for episode three. Thank you.